This is Read Tips number three from Tom Hardy Bassoon Reads. Many have been asking what to do when a read is buzzy. The problem with a word like buzzy is it's very subjective. People talk about mellow tone or warm tone or nasal. But what we're looking for is something that suits you, your instrument, your crook and your embouchure and your concept of what you want your bassoon to sound like. So this video is to give you some tips on adjusting the next stages. If you haven't watched the first read video, watch that first because that goes over wires and basic closing the tip down and getting the basic things done before you touch sandpaper or anything else. This one really is, is the read which is a bit too wild. It just doesn't seem to work despite adjusting the wires. So I have three reads here. Um, interestingly, if we look at this first one, this they're all the same batch. This one has come off, I'll just zoom in. The tip opening is pretty good already. The grain of the cane looks quite nice. It's nice and smooth. And already it has a crow, which isn't too wild. This, this one here though, you can see it's the same batch. The cane, the, the, the grain is very raised and bumpy. And the tip is not very neat yet. So that's one which would, is going to need some work. And the third one is sort of in between, but this is the one we're going to work on. The grain's a bit wider, standing up a bit, and this one, the edges are still a little too thick. So what we're looking at here, the basic principle, is that when a reed is how you want it, it should look a bit more like the one on the right here. The, the edges should be thin enough that they don't arch like this first one on the left. This one is more like our example here, where the blades are being held apart by the edges of the cane being too thick. So the principle really is to take down the edges so that they don't vibrate so much, so the reed is not flapping that way so much. So I'm going to soak it a little bit because we don't want to do this on a dry reed. While that soaks, let's just look at the tools. You'll need a pluck. You'll need some sort of scraping device, a, a set of files from a hardware store is fine, and wet and dry paper. This is 320 grit, you can get it finer than that, but this, this will do the work quite fast. And as I showed you in the first video, I also have very fine sandpaper, up to 1000 or 2000 grit for the very final polishing. So if you have a plaque and a soaked reed, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the plaque and we're just going to take down the very edges, either with the sandpaper or with a file. If you're using a file, we're going to do the very last millimetre or two of the edge and just work on the edge, gently back and forth along the whole length, just so that the edges aren't so thick and aren't causing the reed to arch so much like the diagram. Back and forth, you'll see tiny bits of cane come off, you're smoothing it down. So, already the tip is looking a little better, it's still a bit open. I might close that down with my fingers like I showed you in the first video. I'll check the wires are snug enough like in the first video. Let's just crow this. It's better than it was, it's still a bit resistant. I would try it on the instrument now, always try it on the instrument between scrapings. I'm not doing that now because I'm making this video. Um, I'll just show you if, if that grain is high and looking a bit bumpy, you want the thing to make it mellower is to smooth out that grain. So I'm taking the plaque again, I'm taking the sandpaper and a wet reed and I'm going to work back and forth across the blade very lightly, just taking off those bumps that you could see. So you'll see already if I zoom in on that, that there's, we're just taking off a small layer of cane. Just to smooth it out. So once we've smoothed that off, and cleaned it off, Uh, 
it's already starting to crow more easily and this is the time to try it on the instrument. So that's the basic steps to calm a reed down. In the next video we we're going to talk about brightening a reed up when it's too dark but this is the, the main thing you're worried about is that razzy reed. It's too buzzy! And remember from the first video as well, if you still want a little bit mellow, a little bit easier to tongue, the very fine sandpaper, 30 to 45 degrees on the tip, will also smooth things out for you. So you should be getting something which suits you better straight away. Any questions, just leave them in the comments or email me at tomhardybassoon.com.